people, um, I'm not really accustomed to using the mic. Can you guys hear me okay as I speak like this? Okay, good. So, good morning. Uh, good thank morning. You for, thank you for being here. I know there are many, many panels you could be at right now, but the fact that you've chosen this one, um, I really feel it an honor and quite a privilege and a blessing to be able to present to you uh, this morning. So, the way that I like to ground everyone, there are many different techniques that I use in my spiritual practice, but for the time uh, per minute and for how I was guided to particularly take this group into a grounding uh, space, I'm going to do an exercise with you that's going to help us become very open to material being presented to you and also help you with de-stressing because I understand that the material being presented here um, the last few days and moving forward are very, you know, it's, it's um, the facts are grim, and you can carry that with you, so we would like you to be able to dislodge that energy um, so you have restful night's sleep and be able to have a compassionate heart and not necessarily take that heaviness home with you, but to be able to uh, have clarity in understanding what it is that you can do to help um, these kinds of individuals who are still in the victim state. So we're gonna begin by taking three deep breaths and then we'll go into a chakra exercise. So if you close your eyes, ground your feet on Pachamama, Mother Earth. Align your backs against the, the chairs. Close your eyes and we're gonna take five deep breaths. I just got into a <laughs> It's still hard for you? It's still hard for you to really know. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. So the next, uh, I'm going to go back to, um, my name is Anna Maria Sanchez, and I am a shamanic practitioner, a spiritual guidance counselor, and an energy worker, a Reiki master. So the next exercise will be taking you deeper into understanding a little bit more about energy and how holistic solutions help to empower the individual. And that is what I'm here to address today. Um, spiritual and wellness approach to being able to help others who are in a victim state attain their sense of self-empowerment and self-worth. This is not only for victims, but it's for yourselves also when you find yourself in a place of um, sadness or depletion or just not valuing yourself to the extent that um, would bring you the joy and happiness that you deserve in your life. So this next exercise is about opening up your chakras. How many of you know what a chakra is? Okay, good. Well, one and half of the, the class. <laughs> well, chakras um, have been known amongst mystics and many of healers as the vortices that are uh, contained within and right outside our body in the auric field and they are known to be spinning vortices of energy that contain prana, which is life force energy. So what we like to do is to keep them healthy and to keep them spinning clockwise. It is likely because of the information that we are hearing, the graveness of what we are being exposed to and the toxicity that are, is coming in from the statistics and the pictures and information that we are being exposed to, that our chakras might be spinning counterclockwise. And what we want is them to spin clockwise so we can go forward and 
not take this information um, to a point where we get sick, that we get sad and depressed and it really affects our psyches. Because I know the other day, as much as I thought I was being strong and resilient to hear the information, I, ha I had a breakdown in the shower. I was happy it was there as opposed to in the middle of perhaps one of the workshops. So what we're going to do is we're going to chant awake each of our chakras and we're going to uh, nurture them out of a place of likely dis-ease into one of um, ease and where it's happy and it's open and it's able for you to be able to take in information and open up your hearts, your minds, and raise your consciousness um, to be able to absorb more of information. So there are, there are many chakras, but for um, Western society, we tend to work with seven. And for the sake of this workshop, we will, we will work with that as well. So we're simply going to open up each one. And by doing that, it's an e easy exercise of chanting the sound for each chakra. So we'll begin with the root chakra, which is located at the spine. So you can close your eyes and imagine a spinning wheel with color, spinning clockwise in a healthy way. And the sound for that spinning wheel at the base of your spine that takes care and dictates your sense of survival and instinct. And the chant for that is
that's why the thing is the throat. The throat, the throat chakra, mm -hmm. where we speak from our authentic self and speak truth. And that is I. Uh, Oh. 